OK. So this is my Vild M3C dissecting scope. And it's pretty much stock. The only things that are different about it is I've got this Amscope ring light attached to the optics. And you might notice off to the left there, there's also um, a bank of LEDs that I use for illumination. I can also use the fiber optic gooseneck to the right. But lately I've been finding these LEDs are just as bright and in many ways a lot better, although you don't get the fine focus of the illumination on it. Okay, and anyway, we zoom up here. You can see this is just your standard home use SLR, digital SLR up there. Of course, they're all digital SLRs anymore. Um, so that's a Canon Rebel, a D700, I think it is. And uh, the only thing unusual about it if I zoom in a bit here, is that is the lens. It's an adapter for looking down a camera tube. So that's that's the one subtle little difference there. Okay, pretty straightforward. Uh, this, this is my little scope. It's good for dissecting work and uh, it's just, just a nice general purpose scope. And over here, let's look over here. This is this is the big scope. This is my Leica DMLB. Uh, it's also pretty nice. This has a um, scientific imaging setup on it. Let's see, I should bring that camera over here. So this is the Progress C3. It's a it's a nice little camera. It's kind of limited in what you can do with it, but it interfaces nicely with the computer over there. Um, I gotta say though that consumer electronics is progressing so fast that in many ways this is much much inferior to that standard consumer grade camera that I use next door. Of course I've also got an adapter here I can probably use I can probably use the old Canon on this microscope as well. Uh, nice features about this microscope is I've got a warming stage I've got you see back there epifluorescence so we've got a couple of filter sets in there so we can use epifluorescence on it. Um, it's also got DIC Namarski, DIC, all the usual stuff going on there. And what this is, is just my little incubator. Right now it's set for 25 degrees centigrade. And what you can see in there is a bunch of tubes. Those are the spider tubes. They're all living in there. I've also got some fruit fly media. I'm growing those wingless fruit flies. So I just set those up. You can see a few of them down there to the left. So again, these are just simple plastic tubes. They're kind of cheap with foam rubber plugs. Um, and everything is growing away in there. Okay, here's one of the spider tubes. And what you see there, that's Gwyneth, the big one, crawling around in there. And there's little Barry, that's a male, down next to her. And there's some wingless Drosophila crawling around there. I Throw those in to feed berry. And there's also the husk of an eaten cricket down there at the bottom. Yeah, so that's what the adults look like. Okay, everyone was worried about the babies dying, the ones that I opened up their egg sac yesterday. And at least they're surviving just fine for a day. So there they are. Everyone's looking plump and healthy. And then also there were some that rolled out of there. Let's go find them. Those are also looking pretty good. So no harm done so far. We'll check on them every day and make sure that they're thriving. 
Maybe they'll come in one day and there'll be little hatchlings scrabbling all over the place. But yeah. So far this is so easy. It's all looking good. 